This better be important. Nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hope you had something more important to stop me for. Why do you guys talk so funny? Pirate lingo! It's how everybody talked back then. Come on, Guybrush, play along. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. None shall pass. Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. While the town drunk could out insult you on his back. He probably would. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, you could stand a lesson or two if that's the best you could come up with. I can out insult anybody, you brainless clay doppelganger. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. Stick it in your ear, you great green garrulous grub. Um, uh, uh which ear, cudgel breath? <laughs> you can't pass until you pay the toll. Oh, please, can't I pass? Oh. Boy, do you sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. Look behind you! A mouse! I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. My old moss-covered three-handled family credenza? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. None shall pass. None shall pass. That's pretty useless, but it's not what I want. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Biffy. Cute, but small. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. Grog. Diet Grog, Cherry Grog, Grog Classic, Caffeine Free Grog, and Root Beer. Huh. Nothing. I'm not stupid enough to do that twice. Looks like one of those well-engineered imports. I'm surprised this one is still afloat. Ah, a fixer-upper.
dull, dull, dull. Now that's a nice looking vessel. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Um, could you please put out that cigar? It's not good for your health, and it smells terrible. Sure, I'd love to put it out. In your face. Uh, maybe I'll just leave instead. Good idea. What do you want? Do you know where the Swordmaster lives? Forget it, kid. She cut your head clean off. Unless, of course, you got some training first. Can we step inside? It's a little chilly out here. What did you say? I said it's a little chilly out here. Huh. You're right. I could catch a cold. What do you want? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. You know, you really should quit smoking. What I really should do is make you eat this stogie. What do you want? I guess you're right. What do you want? I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? All I have is this dead chicken. This isn't one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle, is it? I've already got one. What else have you got? Well, I figured you'd do it for free. Well, you figured wrong. What else have you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. I do have this deadly-looking chicken. Yes, swinging a rubber chicken with a big metal pulley in it can be quite dangerous. But it's not a sword! Let's see your sword. Well, I don't want to show it to you. I think you'd better. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, 
I got no choice. I need the money. Yes. I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Use your forte against the foible. Use your forte against the foible. Use your forte against the foible. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repulse. Watch your footwork. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... You must be thinking of someone else. I am not a farmer. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like... How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall, my sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no. That was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, first, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. <laughs> you fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Uh, could you repeat that? I didn't quite get it. I said... Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, yeah?
My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I give up. You win. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? You make me want to puke. I am rubber, you are glue. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur! First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I give up! You win! Move out of the way, or I cut me way through! Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah, now that you mention it, they do! Ah, it's probably just that we're tired. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. You run that fast? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I give up. You win. Aye, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. <laughs> this is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? <laughs> My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, I'm rubber, you are glue. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, yeah? I give up. You win. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. I am rubber. You are glue. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, yeah? Boy, are you ugly! I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur! And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? I give up. You win. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming.
Oh, I am the rabbi, you are glue. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah. You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, I am the rabbi, you are glue. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword, master. you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again, ungrateful little shoplifter. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh, please. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram.
She looks like she's meditating. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. Hi, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Do you have one in size three? Of course you don't. Because you're not really a jacket salesman. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. You are a pain in the backside, sir. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. How appropriate! You fight like a cow! Every word you say to me is stupid. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here, this should convince them. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. I don't think I can get past them. Woof! On those helpless dogs? That's inhumane! There surely must be a use for a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, but this is not it. I don't think these dogs are vegetarians. Important notice, these dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. They're sleeping peacefully.
a priceless Ming. I don't recognize the man, but that looks like the dog in the bar. No time for reading now. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. Eh, better leave this here. The red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. The heck? Gophers! Beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. I locked the sheriff in there. I bet this will come in handy. I think it's some kind of religious text. They're yak-sized and covered with slobber. I'm certainly not going to chew on them. I still don't have a file. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats! I can't stand carrot cake.
It says gophers won't come near you with this stuff on. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. It's heavy. It's a raspy metal file. But I need it to get the idol. I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. The pirate leaders told me to do it. Ta! Ah! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says the pirate leaders told him to do it. Then he's not the first decent person they've led astray. What? You heard me, Festa. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Festa. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So the pirate leaders made you do it, eh? Gosh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Jeepers, that... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Blue. Nothing here. And Twinkly? Uh, I really wish I knew how to talk to women.
Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? I'm going to go put this idol in my safe deposit box. Oh, really? I know a really safe locker you could put it in. Davy Jones' locker! You know, it's not too late for us to make up and be friends. Yeah. And it's also not too late for me to kill you and still make it to the bar for happy hour. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm, this might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I can't reach it. I'm tied to this stupid idol. It's sharp. I better be careful. Heavy and sharp. Litterbugs. Sharp, though. Very sharp. Sharp and dangerous. Looks sharp. Rusty, but sharp. I can't reach that from here. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey! You can talk! <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seem to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known, or even cared, if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin! Plunder Bunny! Kiss me! No! We mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why? Are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be... preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. for stealing it for us. I found your legendary lost treasure. Oh, I discovered the lost treasure, eh? 
You're a clever boy. You may keep the chic t-shirt. We have plenty. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. <laughs> I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey! I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. Why don't you think we'll see her again? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Oh, governor. Why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. That's my fault the governor's in this mess. And I swear, I'll get her out of it. Even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. Attention Pirates of Melee! Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> Get me a drink. How can you think of a drink at a time like this? The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. <laughs> What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> what can I do to save her? <laughs> you must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Why should I do that? Why, for love, my boy. Don't deny it. It's written all over your face. Love. Get me a drink. Get your own drink. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off! Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. <laughs> Looks like a fine Peter Tanker.
Did you know the governor's been kidnapped? Err... Uh, well, yes, we knew about that. Why are you just standing around instead of doing something about it? Uh... Well... The governor can probably take care of herself. And we are sort of busy here. Yeah... And we've got the circus to think of. We've got to find the elephant. Find the rat. Yeah! And get rid of these minutes! I'm sorry, we simply can't go at this time. Hey, I'm back and I'm ready to know more about the future. Yikes! So, you have returned to learn future. Yes, I must go after the governor. You must first find others to help in your cause. I really hate that flashing. It makes me see spots. Quiet. I am getting another vision. You must... Must what? You must go to Monkey Island. Once there, you will search for the ghost pirate, LeChuck. He hides deep, deep beneath Monkey Island. There is only one thing powerful enough to destroy LeChuck. What? It's an ancient root. Once prepared, the root can destroy a ghost with one touch. Yeah! I'm getting more. More vision. Spill it! I see the cannibals that live on the island. They are helping you or eating you. I can't tell. The vision isn't coming in clear anymore. Great. Now go and find the one that loves you. But be warned. Don't worry. I'll watch out for LeChuck. Not of LeChuck, of yourself. What you will find out about yourself and your world. It will terrify you. May I help you? I was just on my way to the governor's mansion. Are you here for the looting? Yes, looting sounds like fun now that I'm a pirate and all. And do you have reservations, sir? Reservations? For looting? Oh, yes, very popular when the governor's away. Chaos would ensue if we didn't have a system. Now, unless you have reservations, you'll have to leave. Gee, I don't have reservations. Should I have called ahead? Of course you should have called ahead. This is a very popular place. Now, we're booked solid for the next five hours. Mm, but I might be able to squeeze you in around the two o'clock hour. Would that be okay? 
Yes, that would be fine. Super. I'll put you down for one to loot the governor's mansion at 2.30. The governor's been kidnapped! What? Here, look at this note! They kidnapped the governor? That really makes me mad! Oh, I feel like kicking someone! Hmm... I wonder if she left her place unlocked. If I let you out, would you join my crew? Sure! Of course! To my emancipator, I shall be eternally indebted. Until then, I pace. I don't need your charity, buddy. Well, maybe just one piece. I don't want anything but my freedom! Your reservations are for 2.30, sir. Come back, then. <laughs> this stuff is eating right through the mug. A drink! I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow! And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. Sucker! <laughs> but... Do we still have a deal? I'm sure he'll be back. He gave me his word as a pirate.
I'll save you, Elaine. I promise. Any sign of the governor? None. As I said, I fear we've seen the last of her. She looks like she's meditating. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? I want to embarrass you at sword fighting again. Ha! I only let you win because I was sick of you coming around. I thought you'd stay away, but I guess I was wrong. I want us to make up and be friends. I want you to go away and leave me alone. The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guybrush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kinda makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> 